hi and welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2025 a happy new year and all that malarkey i know this is a bit late but most of my videos are actually recorded the week or two before they um, come out so, so i'm actually recording this on the 7th so it will come out in a few days time mainly because of the uh, the offer that spire i've got on for 50 percent off until the 14th of january so I thought I better get a drift on and get this done. So you may or may not have uh, seen that uh, Spire have come out with a, a kind of new AI program for creating presets. So uh, as a sound designer, preset creator, thought, well, I better have a look and see what it's all about. So first things first, looking at this Spire page, you would not know there was any new AI features because it's not exactly screaming it from the rooftops. It is in beta mode, so I'm assuming maybe that's something to do with it. Um, if we go over to the kind of home page, the only kind of real inclination that they are doing a new AI program is uh, these two videos that feature on the home page. So, so yeah, so you can see there's one for creating a pad and one for a base. So if we go back to the Spire page, uh, if you don't know anything about Spire, then we can have a quick look down and see what it's all about. I have obviously never used it before, so I thought this would be a good time to give it a go. I do quite like the, um, the kind of UI, I have to say. It is quite smart looking. And it's kind of like all basically in one page. There's not really like loads of pages so basically this is the whole kind of thing obviously there's a kind of menu browser and then there's the matrix but the bulk of it is all done on this one page which is quite cool so you are getting four multi-mode polymorphing oscillators you are getting a unique unison engine so nine unison voices on each oscillator spread unison voices by chords and octaves capable of imitating different types of unisons like super saw and hyper saw superb sounding filters so you are getting two multi-mode filters with analog and digital types of filtering perfecto infecto acido scorpio combo and shaper and i still think they could have called one scorchio so if you've watched the fast show you'll get that joke so high quality built-in effects poster you get shaper decimator phaser vowel chorus flanger and delay and reverb and you get incredibly flexible modulation architecture. So four macros, four envelopes, four LFOs with morphing shapes. So you get 15 matrix slots, each equipped with two sources and four targets, two steppers and an arpeggiator. So surprisingly user-friendly and fun to use. So we will find out if it is in, in fact user-friendly and fun to use. So make your sounds fatter with a multi-band compressor and a three-band EQ. So there are a, over a thousand factory presets, including complex ARPs, bass sequences, and leads, uh, pads, plucks, drums, and effects. So it's on sale for uh, $94 at the moment, uh, let's say until the 14th of Jan. So that is £74 or 90 euros. So let's say there's not much difference between euros and dollars now. So that's pretty good. I mean, I think that's uh, 75 quid. You can actually get this on Plugin Boutique as well. So you can get uh, the reveal with the online course and an expansion pack for £86 or uh, $108 or 104 euros so that's a pretty good deal as well so you get the producer's guide to spire and then you get the melodic tech expansion pack which has 64 presets so that's not bad and that is like 10 quid more um, so I think that would probably be worth maybe getting from there. So, so one of the things that was not straightforward and fun to use was the installation as it was a bit of a faff. Yeah, so to utilize the AI features, you actually have to do a kind of separate setup. So I'll leave a link to this video. So this kind of goes through what you have to do and it kind of gives you a, a quick idea here and it kind of goes through this whole process but yeah so once you've got it all set up and registered you then have to link up the ai basically you go into your profile you find your email and id information and then you open rsai plain tab and then enter both of those and click validate and then this is the kind of ai generating panel it is fairly straightforward there's various different types of models timbers and modes and there's a seed and a, there's a DNA queue, uh, which you can adjust from zero to 100. And then there's corrector and the amount of presets that you want. We're going to have a look at that in the actual program. That's one thing that you have to do to get it set up. So this is your kind of uh, products page. Uh, and that is my profile. And that's where you would get that information for the AI. This is where it got a bit confusing because the download file is actually a folder called Spire 
.lic. Now, I opened that folder expecting it to be serial number or license number, but it was just a bunch of garbage text. But I eventually sussed it out is that you actually select that folder when you are registering Spire. So you don't open it, you just select the folder and it registers it through that. Uh, the other thing is that you can't download all the versions at the same time. So normally when you install a program, it will ask you, it'll have a list of these, AU, VST2, VST3, AAX, or standalone if it has one, uh, and you will just click the ones that you want. Unfortunately, you have to download these individually. So I did the AU one, obviously, for logic, and then I had to restart my Mac before I could even download the VST2. So I couldn't even download them and then like do a one restart. So I haven't bothered to install the VST2 and 3 because I need to restart my Mac again. So that was a bit of a pain. So apart from that, it was really easy. So hopefully this will help and you'll know that not to bother opening the Spire LIC folder because there's nothing in it. It's just garbled text and you actually have to select the whole folder. Um, yeah, so that is the kind of intro to Spire and uh, the new AI features. So let's get it open in Logic and see what it is all about. So if you want to get to your presets, you just click in here and there's 1079 factory sounds and I went straight to the pads as usual. So you can see that we've got uh, basses, drums, effects, keys, leads, pads, plucks, sequence and arp and synths. So it's not a huge amount of presets, I suppose. And then these are the ones that I have created using the AI and that is what this video is going to be about. So you can see I have two packs. So for some reason it stored the second pack uh, pack inside the first one so that's a bit weird so i'm not quite sure why that happened so you can see i created eight uh, and it tells you here so if i click on preset one it will tell me what i used so yeah so there's a there's a keyboard here which kind of is a bit annoying it says i used uh, rsai1 the model was contriver 2024 timber was pad mode was normal and the dna q was 80 percent and we'll just play this and just see what it sounds like <laughs> So that was the very first pad it created. So it's the second one. And I need to bump up the volume a bit, it's very quiet. Third one. And as you can see, you get a history here. Fourth one. Can you hear that? Fifth one. Sixth one. And seventh one. Now, as you can probably tell, that's the one that I've favorited because I have been playing around with it. So we'll, um, we'll have a look at this. So this is one that I kind of liked out of the eight. And I have been tweaking it. So yeah, so that sounds a bit better than it did. So we will have a look and just see how it works. So if you click in this RSAI bit, this is our main bit. So if you go to play and that is where you validate your ID from the uh, account page and then validate it and then that should be you. So this is a bit different looking than, so if I open up this, uh, this bit is missing from my version so so there might just be a glitch but this is actually missing from the version that i am using so it is still in beta so hopefully that might get fixed but it's there on his his intro video so it obviously works but it's uh, it's missing in mine so you um to change that you would have to type it in but it's a b bit flaky as well so if i try and delete this it, it won't delete so I'm hitting the delete button on my keyboard. So yeah, so so that's a bit of a, a glitch, but apart from that, it seems to work. So you've got four models. So like I said, there's only one version, so you don't need to bother about clicking that. So there's four versions, and I've used the first two. So I'm gonna go to Hybrid 24 for this demo, um, and we'll see what this comes up with. So, and it tells you there what they are possible to create with those. So Hybrid 24 and uh, 
you've got timber. But you can see you've got Atmos, bass, bell, key, lead, pad, pluck, sequence, and synth. So we'll stick with pad. Modern, you've got vintage and hybrid. So we'll go with hybrid since it's a hybrid model. And then this seed number is the random number telling RSAI how to generate a set of presets by using patterns and relationships it has learned. So you can either stick with that or we can randomize it again or you could enter your own set of numbers. We're going to leave that at 80 because I can't really change it. <laughs> so corrector performs final tuning of some parameters in the resulting presets. So you can switch that. I would leave that on. I've just left it to normal and we'll just have eight. I mean, you can have up to 128 presets, I think. So we'll leave it on eight. Uh, and then we just hit submit uh, and it will process and it will start saying starting RSI presets generation uh, and then it's going to the neural network and it is uh, creating so this is a real time so I'll just leave this to run and we'll see how long it takes it is pretty quick So as you can see, it's stored in the same folder, which is a bit annoying. It's not creating a, a new folder. So um, I'm not quite sure how to change that. You can see that it, it's still within this other folder. They're all going to be created within that, within my user library. So, uh, so oh, we'll nice. rename that just so I can remember. DTC Hybrid 24. And it wants a pad. So that's how you rename it. And you've got copy, import, export, delete, and rescan there. And you've got some other things over here. But we're not going to look at those. So let's just hear what the first one sounds like. So good. So very similar. It's all a bit kind of fluty. So I forgot which one I like now. Yeah, so out of that eight, that's the kind of one that I like. So right, so we'll stick with this one. And I've kind of mapped, I'm using my Arteria 49, and uh, as you can see, I have mapped it to certain controls uh, on the faders and also the, the oscillators as well for the first four knobs. So we can muck around with this as well, just to see what it sounds like. And if I go back, I can kind of favorite that as well. So I remember which one I can like. So, I mean, out of the eight, that's one that I like. So, I mean, they were all a bit samey, the, the rest of them, weren't they? Let's try another one. So that was a wee bit different. Let's try seven. It's a bit weird because I was expecting this to move when I'm moving these controls but they don't. You have to kind of click in them and it'll just change the... So that's how it works. It's a bit weird because the first thing you think is, oh, that that's going to move this, but it doesn't. But like I said, I'm going to have a look at all of the controls in another video because this is going to go on way too long. So like I said, you've got four oscillators uh, and uh, it's quite cool. So you've got lots of things. So we're in Perfecto. Like I said, I can't believe they didn't have one called Scorchio. So we're in Perfecto. So um, I can't remember if I've... Yeah, so the cutoffs. I've mapped the cutoff as well. And the res. And the cutoff and the res for two. So we can put on a filter here. Let's just try uh, Scor Scorpio.
one thing I didn't realise that, that it's got a mod matrix because I didn't actually notice this little matrix down here. So this is the mod matrix. So I had a bit of trouble figuring this out. And like I said, I'll, I'll have a look at this in another video. The, uh, the mod wheel is on source one and uh, it's uh, triggering the cutoff. We'll try a large and we'll do, uh, say, a synth this time. And we'll go, I don't think it's got crazy. I don't, why would you want a crazy? Anyway, we'll go experimental and we'll leave that as is and uh, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, all tasks are complete. Right, and here it is. Right, let's see what these sound like. Right, so it's created it within this other folder. So we're inside the hybrid folder now. Right, so that's one. Right, so quite like that one. So we'll stick with that one. That was about the only one that I liked. Right, so uh, the uh, oscillator 2 is not uh, kind of got anything on it as well, so we'll try combo. And yeah, we'll go plus. Uh, I said, So you get the idea, there, um, there's kind of a good starting point, but out of the eight, I'm getting maybe like one that I like uh, as a kind of starting point to create another preset. Yeah, there's not any of them that I would use like off the bat really, but um, like I said, it's a, it's a good starting point. That is a quick look at RSAI. So you've got four of these to play around with and you've got all these timbers and uh, yeah so uh, and depending on the timber you'll get different things for yeah so sometimes you get a crazy and a polish depending on the timber so for instance pluck you've got those and then synth you've got crazy so yeah so i'm not quite sure why you would want crazy apart from maybe effects so we'll see do, does effects have crazy yeah so you can create, create effects as well and also some drums. So like I said, I've only really done pads because that is kind of what I like doing. So anyway, so that is it for today and a quick look at the Reveal Sounds AI Inspire. And I wish they had called it something else, but because RSAI is a bit like RSI and I think maybe they could have called it Reveal AI. Might have been better. So thanks for watching. And as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share and comment. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.